So yeah, we've been seeing a lot of uh, you know, news that dexamethasone, uh, this molecule here, uh, might be able to treat COVID-19, uh, not necessarily killing the coronavirus, um, but that is you know, interacting with the proteins in your body uh, to help modulate some of the responses that your body is having while you have COVID-19. And so uh, let's go ahead and explore uh, this molecule with our expert scientists, Daniel and Mike today. Hi everyone. Hi. Yes, Steve, I think it's really exciting to look at this molecule. If you grab it and move it around with your hand, this is a steroid. And the steroid structure is found in a lot of important molecules in our body, in our sex hormones like androgen and estrogen, in our bile acid, cholesterol, and in our cortisol, which is a glucocorticoid. And we're going to be talking about that today. And when you see this drawn, on a piece of paper, it just looks a bit like chicken wire with these three hexagons here. But you can see in three dimension, it's a very rigid molecule with a bit of a cup shape here and uh, fairly greasy here. But it has some hydrophilic pieces here, here, and on the end. And that's, that's going to be important when we look at how it binds to the glucocorticoid receptor. Uh, we're able to see that you know, it takes on a, a larger three-dimensional shape in a few areas given this kind of like curve that it has going on as well. Yep. If you turn on your torsion device and you look for places to rotate here, it's a very rigid molecule. Really over here is about the only place you can really rotate here in this, in this bond here too. Um, otherwise it's quite a rigid molecule. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, except for a couple terminal yeah. atoms. Yeah, I mean, it's this just, is really the exactly only... terminal atoms, exactly. So yeah. So over here we have our dexamethasone, and this is uh, it bound in its uh, receptor. So if you look, they're actually the same molecule. On the gray, we have the molecule by itself, and then in the teal, we have it in the bound state. Um, and so there's a slight change. You, you might notice a couple atoms are you know, a little bit off. Um, and that's really going to happen with the interatomic interactions that we see between the residues here. Um, so we see in the orange as well, some really uh, interesting hydrogen bonding. In the blue, we have some more precise hydrogen bonds. Maybe those are a little bit stronger. Um, and then over on you know, the backside of the molecule, we have this one right here, uh, which is showing blue, which is a little bit stronger. And then we have these orange ones in the back that are uh, maybe a little bit less precise. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Turn on the surface view and go to the uh, hydrophobic coloring. There we go. Yeah. And, and so we could see, see a, a little bit of those hydrogen interactions uh, poking out through the surface. And yeah, you know, we could really see in this you know deep red color, especially you know, back there, but pretty much the entire thing is red in here. Um, and, and so this is the hydrophobic coloring. And it really gives you a good in indication. This is also a great opportunity to show off the new laser pointers that we have. Uh, by pressing your thumbstick in, you could go ahead and like point and, and allow all of us to see. Yeah. These receptors, they shuttle from the cytoplasm to the nucleus. And um, here we can see also two of these GR receptors bound to uh, DNA. And there, what they do is they, um, you know, they, they bind to the DNA and regulate the expression of genes in pathways that lead to inflammation. And that's the reason why, you know, these glucocorticoids um, modulate uh, inflammation. It may help also with the cytokine storm that we've all been hearing lately, unfortunately, because of that's a reaction that uh, some people that are really sick get um, uh, an overreaction of their own immune system. And so uh, these drugs, and by the way, it's a readily available and inexpensive drug. So that's good too. It just helps. Uh, it's been proven actually very recently that it helps uh, reducing the mortality for uh, about you know, COVID-19. So that's good news. We have these five uh, residues interacting with the dexamethasone here. It's arginine, glutamine, uh, threonine, and asparagine as well there. And uh, yeah, those are the main interactions here and of course I'm sure there are hydrophobic interactions also happening between the binding pocket and the, the molecule that also keeps it tight in there so that makes it for a strong interaction right yeah, it would be interesting to look at the natural 
corticosteroid cortisol and see how it overlaps with dexamethasone. And I'm going to open my MedChem tool and just come in here. And to change this, all I have to do is delete the fluorine here, delete the hydroxy here, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and then uh, change this double bond to a single bond. And if I've got it right, that is cortisol. Yeah, Micah, I just hit the, the play button. So now we're uh, seeing it toggle between the two frames, the uh, original uh, dexamethasone and then the edits here that we have. Yeah, so it binds very similarly. Uh, this has been a you know, great exploration of dexamethasone, which is a you know, relatively cheap medicine today um, that could actually help you know fight the body's own response towards COVID-19. You know, people talk about this cytokine storm. Um, well, you know, that's your own body uh, you know, trying to mount a response to try to kill the coronavirus. But what ends up happening is it really damages your own cells. And so this chemical dexamethasone is a way to interact with your your own body's proteins in order to reduce the amount of inflammation and reduce the cytokine storm so you don't damage your own cells with your own immune response. Right. You know, we've been exploring a lot of molecules. Um, you know, the early days of the spike protein um, with Mike Kuiper in Australia, you know, that was awesome. Uh, being able to see how that binds with the ACE2 receptor. Um, we've even looked at things like hydroxychloroquine. Uh, of course, you know, that remdesivir episode uh, with the RNA polymerase, uh, different ideas for targeting the main protease. Um, even things like this that are, you know, just interacting with proteins that are part of the human body and not even part of the coronavirus series. Um, you know, really, th this pandemic is affecting the entire world right now. Um, the scientific community really needs to, you know, get together and understand how we could fight this more effectively. Um, so if you have ideas for, you know, things you'd like to see in VR, topics that we could cover, um, yeah, we're trying to stay relevant with the latest scientific papers, happy to explore new structures, uh, new potential chemical treatments for COVID-19. Um, so yeah, leave a comment, shoot us an email, and we'll see you in VR. Fantastic. That was Thank a you. Good